Welcome back to EM All Access. Event marketers, we're still here in Las Vegas uh, at the Bellagio Hotel. And we're talking to brand marketers as we have been uh, throughout the show. I've got a great guest this morning, Teresa Cook from IBM. Thank you so much for joining me. Thank you, Joe. Very much appreciate you taking the time. I'm glad to have you. Um, we met with one of your other colleagues yesterday, and I told him I was an intern at IBM 25 years ago, and I always say thank you to IBM for getting my career started. It's well, a great thank company. You. Thank you. Um, so, IBM's a big company. You yes, do it some is. really interesting things with uh, marketing, and, and you specifically have targeted the C-suite. Right. A very high level, C level executives yeah. with some unique things. So, why don't you tell us about the event that you've put on? And sure, mm -hmm. sure. Well, very recently we ran a CIO leadership exchange, and you know, the whole intention was to really engage the audience. And in order to engage the audience, we really actually drove the whole agenda and the whole presentation topics and themes based on what they wanted to hear. So we, we undertook an external survey before we'd even built the event. So you started that engagement well ahead, right. got them right. talking. Absolutely, yeah. outbound survey, you know, really got um, insight to all of their key pain points, mm -hmm. understood what they really wanted to hear about, the whole topics and themes, and actually if they would even want to come on stage and engage the audience themselves and share a story. Huh. So. So, so, so now you've got an active participant. Right. So I'm gonna show up and have them tell me what they're going to tell me. It's I asked them to do this, and yeah. did you were you able to deliver on the things they? We really were. To? You know, we actually constructed two days um, where the first day was really more of a main tent, but it was established as a panel, and we had very selective uh, chosen clients who really wanted to embrace and share their story. Um, they really were great at sharing their insights on how they solved a problem, mm -hmm. and that really engaged the audience as well. So that was sort of the day one, and then day two is we had much more interactive roundtable dialogues. That we're really kind of at the table, physically round tables discussing mm -hmm. and really uh, brainstorming new ideas as well as sharing their own problems and Pro solutions. Probably had a great energy, like they probably came away energized. They really, and they yeah. felt special because yeah. actually rather than being talked to, mm -hmm. we were engaging them and getting feedback from them. So yeah. it felt very, very relevant, very authentic yeah. and a great experience. Now you said that the content yes. was customized to them. Yes. Talk about what content means in this Sense. Yes, and for, for me personally, I think content is not just about creating, you know, new content, new PowerPoint. assets, and PowerPoint. <laughs> yeah, it, it's actually creating the right experience. So yeah. when you think about really engaging your audience, whether that's pre, during, or actually at the event, you've got to ensure that you're relevant and that you're in the right places. And as you go out and target somebody, that content, even if it's like establishing an invite or bringing you into the event mm -hmm. and really driving you through the whole engagement, yeah. that's all establishing the right experience. So it was very important to think content, both the physical assets, but also an experience. And that was really melded into the event at the mm -hmm. time. And you did some technology, some custom technology to do that. We tell, did. tell us about that. Well, we really, you know, I think like anybody now running events love to have the event applications, which are very important. But, you know, one of the things we've learned within IBM is really bringing our own technology into this event application. And quite frankly, more, more of that personalization and to really gauge your audience because throughout the, the event, you want to be able to not only poll, but you want them to be able to ask questions. Mm -hmm. So it was very important to kind of really get that interactivity going at the event itself and take all that great data after the event and be applicable after. So this was a relatively small event, the CIO. Yes. How many people yeah. were there? We actually had 200 people. So 200 CIOs. 200 CIOs. A lot CIOs. of dollar value there. That's, yes. that's actually yeah. quite impressive. Yeah. But it is a small event. But, but those are the heads of organizations right. in many cases. So how do you equip them to go off and communicate that out once they get home. Right, so once they get home, I think you know a lot of the times you, know, you can come to an event, you absorb, you've met people, you're networking with your peers, you're taking away a lot of great content, but to stay engaged, we then encourage people to join their own personalized community. Mm -hmm. And as a private community, many people opted to uh, kind of join that community and be a part of the ongoing dialogue. So they get access to a lot of great study information, mm -hmm. a lot of thought leadership, a lot of great information that they could just kind of continue on and have that old ongoing engagement. And how long does that engagement last after? Is it over the next day or does it take months? It, it should be over the next day and onwards forever, yeah. really, because you know that maintaining your client and really ensuring that they're happy 
and that you've really ensured that you understand that their constant business needs are changing, that you have to establish that ongoing relationship. Yeah, this is something I've seen at, at a lot of events is people doing these customized discussion areas. Yes. Yeah. And you take an event that lasts a day, right. but you see people commenting on those discussions a, a year later. Yes. They'll say, oh, this was a really cool discussion. So that right. really makes it live for a lot longer. Right, and it, more and more now, if you look at some of the data points, you know, people are spending 50% of their time online searching for content. Mm -hmm. So now they've taken the time to actually be at one of your events now are you relevant to where you need to be mm -hmm. and you know I always love that expression that you know content is king but distribution is queen it's kind of like you got to be where you need to be so that ongoing daily monitoring yep. you have to adjust yeah content's great but if nobody reads it right. or watches it it's a waste yeah yeah so you have you you've, you've done some other events where you doing these same principles? What, what kinds have, of and, other events? Right, yeah. and it, actually learning from a very mm -hmm. specific focused role around the CIO, we then evolved to do a think forum. And that's where we really engaged the broader CXO audience. Okay. You know, Because as you come together, each one of those audiences are very applicable and very important in their own right. But by bringing them together, that interaction, like a CIO working with the CMO or a CIO working with the CFO, even the CEO across this whole board is incredibly important to engage that whole C-level audience at the time. So we ran a think forum which was highly effective to kind of bring those multiple roles together. Yeah. So what will you, how will you continue this in the future? Are you going to continue to do these kind of events, first of all? Absolutely. Yeah. Yes. The, the C-level audience is critical. Yeah. And I think, you know, as you think about the additional roles, whether it be a CHRO and how they maybe have to interact even more directly with a CMO, mm -hmm. or even if you think about the CISO and how critical security is these mm -hmm. days. So we will constantly focus on the C-level, but those different roles. That's fantastic. Well, yeah. it sounds like it's a great program. Thank you. I hope to hear more about it in the future. Thank you. Thanks for thanks, joining Joe. us today. Really appreciate it. And thank you for watching. We'll be back from Event Tech with more interviews and watching them all access at eventmarketer.com. All access. Thanks very much.